Hi, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. This is our top of the hour 6 p.m. newscast. While the number of registered voters in the Philippines has been increasing in recent years, voter turnout has been fluctuating. Over 5.4 million Filipinos are registered to choose the next leaders of the Philippines. But voter turnout in the past elections show one cannot expect all 54,363,329 to actually go to their respective precincts and vote. The average voter turnout of the past nine national elections stands at 75.79%. Between 1992 and 2013, the highest voter turnout was during the 1998 presidential elections with 86.1%. Then Vice President Joseph Estrada ran and won the presidency in a landslide. The second highest was seen in 2004 with 76.99%. In Asia, the Philippines ranks fifth highest among 16 countries that conducted their elections in 2013. Falling behind Maldives, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan and Malaysia. Why doesn't administration bet Rojas enjoy the same rise as her running mate Lenny Robredo? Robredo says that he has not that she does not have much baggage yet. She adds her more dramatic narrative also worked to her advantage. I think um, that my advantage um, over Secretary Mar is the fact that I'm fresh. Uh, I'm coming into this with a very clean slate. I do not have so so many baggages yet. And Secretary Mar has been part of the administration for, for a long time. So whatever misgivings the, the, the people have on this administration is immediately, um, is, is, is immediately a burden to Secretary Mar. It, it's not the same with me in the sense that because even if I'm a congressman coming from um, the same, the same uh, party, um, I was not really um, that identified with um, working with the administration. Yeah. And Secretary Mar has to bear um, all the burden of, of answering for whatever misgivings Mistakes. everyone has. Yeah. Um, it's, it's unfortunate for him. But, he, it's, but he's also seen as, as not as authentic. I, I don't know about that. Um, I, I think my advantage also is that my narrative is more dramatic than his. Um, I, I've been through so many upheavals already. I've, I've met the greatest tragedy of all, uh, losing a husband. Um, I've, I, I've been, I, I've transformed from a very ordinary mother and wife into a public official after the death of my husband. It's, it's a narrative that Secretary Mar doesn't have. And I think it's, it's a disadvantage um, on his part in the sense that people are actually attracted to these kinds of narrative. But, but also, even if it worked to my advantage, the burden really is proving um, to people that uh, my capacity does not end with that narrative. I have to prove every day that I, I am capable. I have to prove every day that um, I am bringing something with me aside from, from my story. And I think that's also the reason why my numbers surged after the two debates. In the sense that um, after the two debates, people saw me already as my own person. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to hold my... my my ground against my five um, male male opponents, and it 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 was very advantageous in the sense that um, people no longer looked at me as just the widow of Jesse. Yes. View the election results in Rappler as they come trickling in. Visit phrappler.com slash elections slash 2016 slash results to view and follow real-time election results for the presidential, vice presidential, and senatorial positions ranked in order of who's winning at a given time. Hit rewind to see how they performed and hit embed if you'd like to post the results on your own website or blog. You can also search by location to see winners of local races. Rappler also created the candidate quiz where you can find out if the presidential candidate you're considering is a match to the issues, to the issues you care about the most. And that was our 6 p.m. news.